Thompson, co-founder of Nemo Skimboards. We began Nemo Skimboards in 2001. We decided to start a skimboard company because we were interested in skimboarding and couldn't find a good quality skimboard locally. And uh, the only way was to make our own. Skimboarding is a little bit like skateboarding crossed with surfing. There's two types of skimboarding. There's flatland skimboarding and there's wave riding. Essentially in both of the sports, the idea is to jump onto the board and slide along the thin water at the shoreline of the beach. With flatland riders, all they have is thin water on the beach. Whereas wave riders, they start off on the thin water and then traverse out into the deep water where the waves are breaking. Yeah, there's two ways that guys get on their boards. They either run and chase their board or um, a better technique is called a one-step drop, where guys will run with their board, drop it, and as they drop it, step onto the back of the board, and uh, then slide along the beach. Nemo make both wood core and foam core boards. Wood core boards are more or less dedicated to flatland riders, and foam core boards are dedicated to wave riding. The production process of our timber core skin boards is very similar to the production of skateboards. We press the individual boards up in a press tool. We then apply a super glide polymer base to the base of the board and then we apply the graphics to the top. The production process of our foam core boards is quite unique. They're produced with a foam core and then wrapped in fiberglass and they have a polymer sidewall that gives them extra strength and um, protection against side dip. The riders of flatland skimboarding have really changed the sport by introducing obstacles into their riding terrain. Obstacles like rails and kickers that you might see in a snowboard terrain park. So with our own Nemo skimboard rails, we've produced a modular system that allows our riders to put together a combination that is uh, as wild as their imagination. So it allows them to explore new ways of riding, new tricks, and to just progress the sport. As well as one of the largest ranges of skimboards, we also produce a range of skimboard accessories like um, deck grip for the top of the board and wax. We also produce a range of travel covers for skimboards, both our foam core and wood core boards, and a small range of apparel. We also sell internationally. We sell boards to Canada, the United States, and the United Kingdom, and we also have inquiries from most of the countries all over the world. It's quite easy to get sponsored by Nemo. We're always looking for new riders who both have talent in skimboarding and a will to progress the sport of skimboarding. Hi, my name's John Tebel, flatland skimboarder from Bond Beach, Australia. My main aim in skimboarding is to have fun and um, to gain exposure in the sport. I really want to see it grow over the next few years. It's got a lot of potential. I prefer flatland skimboarding as it incorporates a surf, skate and snow style which sort of comes a bit naturally to me and there's always something new to try in the sport. Flatland Skimboarding Australia is really going to step up with um, new riders getting involved every year and the push from companies like Nemo Skimboards. The bar has continuously been raised so it will be pretty exciting to see over the next few years. Hey, I'm Jason Scott, I'm a Nemo team rider. I live around the Mornington Peninsula. I do a bit of flatland skimboarding. Well, I first started skimboarding about five years ago when I used to see the Nemo guys down at the beach when they first started producing skimboards. And uh, we're pretty cool, so got into it and now I'm here. 
Yeah, over the last two years, skimboarding has had a big impact on my life. I've sort of spent most of my free time down at the beaches filming a uh, skimboarding film, flatland skimboarding film, uh, The Sultans of Skim. Yeah, with the help of Matt Thompson and the boys from Nemo, have uh, got it out there on the web and in stores, sort of doing big things, getting all the boys recognised. And overall, to me, skimboarding is just a time you can hang out with the boys down at the beach and have an awesome time doing new and better tricks. Nemo try and encourage skimboarding through a range of different events. We hold skimboard competitions as well as demo events that allow people to come and try skimboarding. These are really important events to help uh, the general public get introduced to skimboarding and to allow skimboarders to show the public what uh, the potential skimboarding has. Our mission statement at Nemo Skimboards is to create a real sport out of skimboarding and to allow young kids and grommets and even seasoned board riders an opportunity to express and realise their dreams through really good products designed locally here in Australia. My advice to anyone wanting to try skimboarding is just get out there and give it a shot. I think you'll find it's fun and easy and hopefully before too long you'll end up as passionate as we are about this sport.